that becomes a six. And this will be get player y axis um, <laughs> fly addy. And I'm pretty happy with that. That covers that. So overwrite values is something we have to do, but we'll declare those in a bit. We don't have to declare those. Yet. Yeah, so let's do our hooks.h. Is it hooks? Oh shit, I was declaring that in the wrong one. Fuck. My bad. Uh, this is, So copy everything you've got in hooks and just put it in functions. Because I was doing that wrong. Okay, uh, this tutorial is being insanely long. Um, so here's what we're going to call our hooks. So now this will make this may may seem quite strange to you, but don't worry about it. It it will be it will be fine. Include functions. Um, D word ammo jump back, and that's the thing. The we're going to declare everything we're having errors with. For now, this bit you may find very strange, but don't worry about it. This is just how we write into. Uh, in assembly, so decal spec uh, is that right? Naked, which is how we like our ladies. Void infinite ammo. So declare that, open that, and that should be fine. Is that right? Deck, yeah, there you go. That's fine. So this is our. All this is telling us is I'm allowed to write an assembly within this function. That's what that means. And then this is where. That comes into action. So we have this bit of code here. Uh, so I'm just going to move that over a little bit. So hopefully you can see this all right. Um, this is for our, is it limited ammo? That's right. So this is where we are. This is what we're working with. So what happens is our jump is going to be placed here and everything else is going to happen. So what does that mean? That means that jump, uh, just to give you a heads up, each jump is five bytes. That's just a fact. That's how much a an E9. Uh, takes up. So if we look for another jump here, hopefully we'll find one. Jump, jump, jump. Probably missed that. Can't find any jumps here for some reason, but um, a jump's equal to five bytes, which means that if we start a jump here, it will it, it will go one, two, three, four, five. And guess what? The rest of this gets killed, which means if we don't do something about that, that's a crash, a guaranteed crash. If those, because those will turn into an instruction that will probably do nothing good for us. So what we need to do is make sure these get noped, both of these two. So and that already happens because of the way we declared it. So we don't have to worry about in our function. And that's where declaring seven was it seven we declared? Having a look, uh, we declared um, we declared six bytes, which means. Sorry, not six, seven. So we went, so ignore that for a second. We, we start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means it kills everything. So it goes up to here with a, with a jump. Boom, one, two, three, four, five. And these two just kills for now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is on the hooks, we're going to go write the original code. So I'm just going to get that code up. So we're going to go write the original code. Um, ASM, and that's how we, we write an assembly. Deck um, ink. Sorry, deck ESI. That's just how we do it. And no semicolon at the end, remember that. So what we're saying is decrement. But as I said earlier, we're going to change this to increment. Now, you could always miss this line, and it would overwrite the line to do nothing. So instead of incrementing it or decrementing it, it would do absolutely nothing. Um, but then what that means is we need to keep these old instructions because if we don't we're missing things and we're likely to corrupt the stack or, or do anything bad to our uh, program so that's fine let's do these instructions again so these are also part of it so one two three four five so I need to cover push and the move so ASM uh, assembly push EDI which is just the same as it is there and then ASM uh, we want to go move EDI, comma, ESP. Now, in case you're wondering, instead of doing deck, D word, pointer, blah, blah, it knows automatically to, to do it properly. So don't worry about, you can write the whole thing most of the time, but I, I just like to keep it short, uh, which should work just the same. 14. Now, you see this bit here, is ESI plus 14. We need to make sure, sorry, that's wrong instruction, my bad. Is it ESP? Yeah, CSP plus 14. 
we need to make sure we always put the zero times before that to make sure our compiler knows it's a hexadecimal value. If you don't, it will mean something totally different. It will most likely either crash you or give you some weird result. So in this case, oh shit, not the word move. In this case, it um, it could give you something like, I don't know, if, if it was accessing an, accessing an, off an offset, and that would mean to something totally different in decimal than in hexadecimal. So we're going to go ASM, and this is the thing we'll have in every single hook. We have jump, ammo, jump, back. So this final bit is just saying we've run our... We've placed a jump, we've run our functions, and now jump back to where we were originally, or one line. So what it will do is it will create a jump here, run everything in a separate place in memory, and then jump back to the instruction after this. So it will cover this, 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 sorry, cover from here all the way to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, and then 6, 7. So it will run all the way to there, and it will return to this line here. That's the line where it goes back to. So seven bytes after where it begins. And I'm fairly happy with that. And that's pretty much it. That's the nature of the uh, hooking. So what we're going to do is our second one. And I'm going to show you how to take an address from uh, a function um, so you can use it yourself. So in, in theory, we'll be stealing our, we'll be stealing an address from memory to use um, as our own. Okay, so we'll be dumping something from assembly into a normal address. So that will be hopefully good stuff and interesting. So get player uh, y axis. It's fine. Uh, same as before. Let's move change image here. So this is what we're dealing with this time. So we're dealing with this and we start right at the beginning. So we're going to go ASM move. ECX. Now, one thing that's incredibly critical that I like to reinforce is that always use the same instructions again. Don't try and, and change something unless it's the, the key thing that you change. So unless, let's say you're changing a deck into an ink or a sub into an ad, whatever, don't change something that, you know, should be there to start with. Cause that's, a, a, that's really a recipe for crashing. So always keep the original instructions there. At least the instructions that you cover with your five bytes. So ours will be one, two, three, four, five, which means we also have to cover that one. So technically, it'll be six bytes that we're covering. The last one will be a nope. Everything else, these two instructions need to make sure they get put in place again. So move ECX ESI plus zero times three C. Make sure the zero times is there. Um, ASM, uh, and that will be uh, move. Uh, Sorry, I'll leave a line between these. Move, uh, and that will be ESI plus zero times zero eight um, into EDX. Fine. And then uh, the final one will be ASM jump into flying jump back. That's something we haven't declared yet. So let's declare these right now at the top. I'm going to go D word, flying, jump, back, oh fuck, <laughs> sorry about that, equals zero, fine, D word, uh, Y axis register, equals zero times zero, you can just leave it as zero, it doesn't matter, and D word, Y axis, pointer. So these are quite obvious what they do. So fly and jump back is obviously the thing that we'll set to jump back here, which will be the address found plus six. And um, the y-axis register is what we'll use to store that register on. So you'll see that in a second. And the pointer will be what we're going to modify when we get there. So this will make a lot of sense. So we've put all the original instructions back, which is these, which are these two. But how do we grab our... Um, the address so this is where the magic comes in so we go ASM and this is where we're going to take our address move uh, Y axis register so uh, you can also use structs here but maybe I'll leave that for another tutorial or you feel free to try it yourself ESI so what we know that what we know is that ESI plus 3C contains our Y axis now I can't just say oh do it plus a 3C because if we do this it won't be acceptable in memory. That will not be allowed, so I can't do that. 
So what we can do instead is do it ESI and then add the 3 C afterwards. Okay, so that's all we need to do. So here we have a normal D word variable, and all we're saying is copy that address into there. So whatever's in that register goes into our address, and that's all we have access to it. And this is happen happening. Remember, this is happening many, many times a second. So we always have the right address for the location. Technically, you can do it once and not do it again, but we do it in such a way that it keeps updating that address. Okay, so we now have that. We've taken that address. Um, as usual, guys, the full comments will be obviously in the in the final version. But uh, now we have our address, and we've got everything, I guess, for for this bit. Um, so what we can do now is move back to source and continue with our our bit of code here. So we've done the flying. This is the flying code. We place the jump. Boom. Fine. And what we want to do now is. So I'm just wondering. We needed to add the three C onto that. Is that something we're doing? Yep, something we're doing. So let's go on to overwrite value. So we're gonna go. This is our individual thread that we create. Um, we create uh, sleep. Shit, sleep. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm screwing up the caps big time here. Uh, sleep uh, 150. So what we're doing here is we're saying. <coughs> We're saying, uh, actually, we don't need that anymore for now. Uh, we're saying loop infinitely. That's what that means. It means infinite loop. And we're saying sleep uh, for 150 milliseconds per loop. So all this is is just to make our life easier. We don't want to overkill the program with having something happening on every loop. That's just a massive overkill. Y-axis pointer uh, equals Y-axis register plus 0 times 3c and that's where that comes in okay now thinking about this having a quick think about this you can actually do that there but um, that should work fine anyway but I'm gonna leave it here just for now because uh, it, it will work fine feel free free to play around with it and change it about um, and now what we're gonna do is we've got everything we've got the address we've got yes is it ESI ESI here yeah, we've got ESI plus 3c which is what we want and now all we have to do is go and allow us to press the space key to um, to make us fly uh, or otherwise so VK so if the key uh, space is held down v key space is held down we go up if control is held down we go down so this is where the magic comes in we now have access to that address and we say float uh, y axis pointer plus equals 8. So all we're doing is adding um, 8 to our current location. So I guess it doesn't have to be an F at the end. but And then we say if, same same again, just copy that, that should be fine. And we say control, which should be, I guess, control. And we just say minus equals 8. So all we're doing is we're saying that that pointer, because technically that's what we grabbed. We grabbed the address to the, to the variable. So we're saying this change this variable through the pointer, add 8 uh, float onto it or take away 8. Okay, so it's really simple stuff and that's how it will work. Uh, obviously you feel free to do a, an infinite while loop or change your loops, mess around with the code as you like. Uh, I'm okay with either approach. Um, and that's fine, I think that pretty much covers all code. Um, I'm fairly happy with that. We've got the functions, the um, the functions here that do what we want, and I guess we can maybe try and build this to test it. See how that goes. Okay, so I've got message box out of here, which is something we'll do. So I'm just going. So I've compiled it now. So the way to get it is just click here, open folder in File Explorer, go one back, make sure it's the first one, debug. And it should be there. If you have any errors, just please fix them before you go along or just look up online for the problem. If you copied everything the same as me, you won't have any problems. So minimize that. Minimize. I guess I can move this around for now. Um, you can minimize these things as well. Uh, that as well. So we want to run a salt cube now. So we're going to test the hack and fix any problems if we have them. Uh, okay, so move that over there. So I'm going to run remote DLL32. If you haven't injected the DLL, please look at my other tutorials. It's a very quick tutorial on how to inject DLLs. Simple stuff, really.